dude. I just don't think this camouflage is working. And it's getting really hot in this. What? I thought it might snow. It's June. Why are we doing this anyway? Because it's getting embarrassing. We keep bumping into our neighbor and we don't even know his name. Mr. Robinson? No, the other one. Mrs. Robinson? No, the guy who lives on the other side. You know... A really small person playing a normal-sized piano? A normal-sized person playing a really tall piano? Someone... Uh... Tickling the... The Sky Tickler! No! Him! Oh, yeah. No, I don't know that guy's name. Exactly. We don't know it, and we're running out of ways to get away with it. Hey, Gumbo! Darwin! Hello, sir. Come on, now. I've known you for years. You don't need to call me, sir. You can call me by name. Yes, we can. And we will definitely do that next time. Oh, gosh darn it. <gasps> Look out, mister! Uh, mister! Mister! Uh, mister! 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 Oh, man, I wish I knew his name. You better call him the paramedics. Why? I'm pretty sure the paramedics is not his name. No, I mean call a doctor. Nah, it'll only be awkward when they ask us what he's called. And you to talk about his job as the town's mailman, Mr. <gasps> Maybe we should have waited. Principal Brown was about to tell us his name. Yep, I panicked. Yeah, remember this time? This was really awkward. This isn't a flashback. Wait up, I got a package for you. <gasps> we can't avoid it any longer. We're gonna have to ask him his name. Are you insane? You're forgetting about the window. Uh-uh. I am not jumping through any more windows. I'm still finding bits of window frame in my gills from the last time. No, I'm talking about the brief window of opportunity where it's socially acceptable to ask someone what their name is. After the third time you've met someone, that window closes. And every time you see them after that, the window gets another lock on it, another bolt, another shutter. At this point, our window with that guy would be harder to open than a ski store in the Sahara. What about your package? What's he trying to deliver anyway? It's probably for me. I don't know that guy's name either. I've just been avoiding him by not leaving the house and getting everything delivered. But isn't he the mailman? I didn't think it through. And what's with the jars? You don't have to leave the house to go to the bathroom. Didn't think that through either. Right. We need to find out his name without him realizing. Hey, Gumball. Hello, mister. Okay, Gumball. Just keep going until you see a look of recognition on his face. Smith... Brian... Peter... Zayn... White Stevenson Day David. <laughs> so sorry about my friend, Mr. Uh, man. I guess I'll just leave it with the others. I know. Isn't it illegal to go through someone's mail? What's worse, being locked in a prison or being locked in a prison of social awkwardness? Jackpot. Isn't it weird that a mailman leaves mail in his own mailbox? I guess some people don't like to take their work home with them. To the occupant, to whom it may concern, to the resident, to the homeowner, to the bill payer for your attention, sir, madam, madam, or sir, to the birthday boy. Doc, come on! What are you doing? Destroying the evidence. But we could have just put it back in the mailbox. Good idea. <laughs> a perfect crime. Excuse me, would you like to sign our petition? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have time to... Oh, God! Thank you for stopping. Please sign here. Um, I don't really... Hey, if you could just write your name, full name, please, nice and clear, black capital, as big as you can. What's it for? Uh, the mayor's gonna knock down the library to build a... A hospital. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, but then he's gonna knock down the hospital to build a... An orphanage. Again, not so bad. But then he's gonna knock down the orphanage and build a... <laughs> a luxury apartments! Luxury apartments. That's terrible. Give me that. No, wait. We need direct action and we need it now. <sighs> it's the mayor here. I've got an idea. We're going to knock down the library and build a hospital. No, no. That's just step one. 